After coming out of two quarantine spells in China, I began the induction week looking forward to getting stuck into this new course. It was nice to know my fellow classmates and hear about their backgrounds, and learn about different people's journeys and how they had come to arrive on this course. The introduction session was extremely eye-opening, and it made me realize how challenging and interesting this module was going to be for me. It introduced me to lots of new concepts and terminologies, and to be honest, I felt a little overwhelmed. However, it was interesting to think about development and what it meant to me. Of all the theories introduced in week one, Paolo Freire's theory of radical humanism really resonated with me. I found week two extremely enlightening, as it highlighted the role education has played in developing a monoculture across the world. This can be seen with indigenous students indoctrinated with capitalist ideas and being trained for Western jobs. This results in many people being left behind and not having the skills they need when they go back to their own homes. It was also heartbreaking to read Schools for Conflict or for Peace in Afghanistan and to learn how the US created textbooks to indoctrinate young children into hating the other, thus normalizing violence to them. In week three, it was interesting to learn about development state theory, and the readings were especially enlightening at explaining the development models of the Asian states and how they developed so successfully when compared to the Philippines. It also helped and enlightened my view on China as a development state, and again, the readings introduced numerous new terminologies for me to try and get to grips with. This week, it was interesting to think about citizenship and the criteria that define it and how nationhood and identity is constructed. One thing that upset me a little was translating the footage of the CCTV gala footage and the casual racism that was implied within it. The upsetting thing was being in China after the coronavirus and seeing how easily these attitudes could lead to something more sinister. In week five, we looked at education policy borrowing between the East and the West. For me, this session highlighted the dangers of using PISA scores to advocate policy reforms. It also made me think about policy borrowing in China and the adoption towards more constructivist teaching pedagogies, and how the implementation of these has led to cherry-picking ideas from these methods, while remaining objectivist in practice. In week six, we looked at school language policy and state building, focusing on the medium of language instruction and how policies related to this could have a positive or negative impact. It was interesting to see how this and the political situation manifested in Tima Litz's changes in MOI over time. I also found this fascinating as I speak English with my daughter at home, while the MOI at her school is Chinese. Unfortunately, I missed week seven due to family issues and I'm in the process of catching up with the readings at the moment. In week eight, we looked at minority groups and how they are represented. For this, we had to make a photo documentary, and I used a picture of migrant workers playing the ahu, sitting under a billboard advertising the Chinese dream that had left them behind. For week nine, we looked at education systems in Central Asia after the collapse of the Soviet Union. Part of this task was to take a field trip to a local museum, and I visited the local museum in Fuzhou, and it surprised me that the images chosen to represent the nation weren't what I would have immediately thought when thinking about China. I found this module extremely enlightening, and sometimes it has been quite challenging to come to grips with the terminology used, but this has also been very rewarding for me. I have especially enjoyed being able to work closely with my CLG group to complete tasks, and I found this module a lot more interactive than other modules, which predominantly rely on watching lectures. I'm looking forward to writing the essay for this module and feel happy that this module has given me a greater understanding of the development theories surrounding education in Asia.